The first thing to do in this capstone project is to uh, find a carbon emissions scenario history um, that keeps the global temperature down below 3 degrees. So um, this model comes loaded with this uh, carbon emissions history here, which is the red line here. And, and you can see that if you look at the uh, plot here, um, the temperature actually uh, rises too high in this scenario, 4.5 degrees. So you go in and you change this. Let's lower this um, emissions history. We'll do something like this. Doesn't matter how we're just uh, fiddling around here. Okay, and then you run the model like that and see what happens. And so it looks like here we've kept the temperature. We're getting a little bit closer here. So 3.22, still too high in the emissions. Uh, so you have to adjust the emissions history until you get the global temperature down uh, below three degrees warming. Um, and then once you've done that, you want to make sure that, that this emissions history has left us with enough fossil fuels that we could continue um, this, this level of emissions for um, a specified period of time. So all you have to do there is to take the total amount of fossil fuels left over, and that would be this um, this red, this pink curve here is the second time I ran the model. Uh, we were left with 2,400 uh, gigatons of carbon, which is quite a lot. And if we were to look at the, um, sorry, the, the final emissions right here at about two, so with this, this rate of burning, 2 gigatons of carbon per year, we've got 2,400. We've got about 1,200 years of time. So we, we definitely have, have left ourselves with plenty of fossil fuels, so we can rely on them to, um, to a limited extent for uh, a very, very long uh, time indeed. So this is a, an okay and acceptable scenario from that standpoint. Um, so this is uh, step one of this process. Um, once you've done this, then you go on to step two, and there'll be another video that will explain uh, how to do that.